A site was chosen for the new team, but the first taste of Major League Baseball came in Dunedin, Florida, where Toronto opened its first spring training in 1977. Just born and full of uncertainty. Good morning, men. I want to welcome all of you to uh, sunny Florida and the Toronto Blue Jays. It's kind of nice to have a full house for the one and only time in the <clears throat> in the history of the Toronto club, every, every position out there is open. While Hartsfield was holding open auditions on the field, the team was filling key positions in the front office. Peter Bavese left his father's San Diego Padres to become Toronto's vice president, while Pat Gillick became chief architect and master planner in his post as head of player personnel. As for Roy Hartsfield, he stepped into his job at age 51, ripe for the challenge of fielding a team that maybe wasn't quite ready for the majors. But success proved ever so fleeting, for it would take six more years before Toronto would lead the East Division pack again. For now, competition in baseball's toughest division was catching up with Toronto, and growing pains were causing the Blue Jays a bad case of expansion blues. I'd see Roy uh, after a ball game or on an airplane someplace just sort of staring off into nowhere with a cold beer in his hand saying, can anybody play this game anymore? Can anybody play this game? Perhaps the only consolation was that the expansion Blue Jays really weren't expected to suddenly achieve respectability and win on a consistent basis. We were supposed to go over 162 from what everybody wrote and uh, from what we read about it. So. Every time we won a game, it was, a, it was like we won a, a playoff game because we weren't supposed to win any. And that, that's what kept us going. Uh, 30 games out of first place at the All-Star break or whatever it may have been, but uh, every time we won a game, it was a, a feather in our hat. And that's all we had to shoot for at the time. We knew going into our second season, it's going to be almost like it was in the first season, maybe with a little improvement. We felt if we had some improvement, we would be going in the right direction. And I think we did. No one in baseball would give you anything then. No one in baseball would give you anything today. you got to go earn it. And that's the way the game is. That's the way it should be. I don't want anyone giving me anything. I'll earn it. We were constantly trying to improve. The minute you quit trying to improve, then you're going the opposite way. you just got to fight and scrap and, and hold your breath and be patient and dig and anything else that you can do in order to try to come up with a winning ball club. Complications, complications going down, complications in your lifetime, complications all, all around in the old complications, complications in the wind, complications where you're bound for, and it's complications where you've been. 